Hey people, Intrude here, 1v1, Legis High Stratum, blue team. I, funny guy, with an apothecary support hero fighting in melee combat, by default begins with a heal and a passive health regeneration aura, up against Initial Mink 7771 with a Chaos Lord, a durable and destructive hero walking through objects and cannot be suppressed with powerful offense and disruption fighting in melee, with a relic badge there. Awesome. Fun fact. Legis High Stratum was the first ever map I casted a game on way back in 2011 during the Dawn of War 2 Retribution weekend betas that they were running. I believe it was an Inquisitor versus a Mechboy. I don't remember the players though. But yeah, long, long time ago. Don't try to find it on YouTube. This was before I even had a YouTube channel and I hosted all the videos myself on my own website, which made my web host very upset. Because even though about 20 people maybe were watching them, when you've got HD files, they're still like one hundreds of gigabytes of bandwidth every month, so they weren't too pleased with me. But I didn't want to post on YouTube back then because they limited you to 15 minutes, and I didn't want to split the casts up. But I eventually got around that, and here we are. 11 years later, on Legis High Stratum. We've got some Chaos Space Marines for Initial Mink. Eternal War already in there, giving him 20% damage. Buff. And some very brave scouts trying to melee them. What is going on here? They get away okay. Got some more scouts for Eye Funny Guy. And more heretics for Initial Mink, who are idle. There we go. They're moving. CSM forced off by the Apothecary himself. Chaos Lord busy capping. Not really natural VPs on this map. It's a very compact and complicated map in terms of like terrain and stuff and pathing. I always thought it was cool. I don't think 1v1 players like it very much because I barely ever see it played. And I don't think it gets picked for tournaments and stuff. I don't think it does. Here or there for the Tactical Marines. Do they still get health regen when they're inside a garrison? The natural health regen of the Apothecary. I'm gonna assume so, but I don't know. Tactical Marines have a Flamer. An Apothecary must flee from aspiring champion heretics. Tactical Marines should just get out of there now and fight the heretics. Only three left, and that is a wasted Doom Blast. Really wasted. Don't think it actually hit. It was the, it was the last model that exploded. Oh, they get the Apothecary though. There were some more heretics and scouts again. Trying to fight in melee. What are you up to, lads? Heretics will tear you apart. Oh, they messed up the Doom Blast again. That wasn't really their fault. Although, I'm generally against Doom Blasting when you're chasing stuff. I typically don't think it's worth it. I mean, if you literally think you're going to get a model with it, I guess it's worth. But you can never tell who's going to explode. Lob capping on this power. Chaos Lord gets a kill the week. Attacks have dropped a model here. Two to one cap, by the way, for I Funny Guy. Are the attacks going to shoot him? No, nope, they want to get straight back on that power. This is the natural power of Initial Mink. Gets a kill on the scouts. Scouts have been pretty aggro so far. Getting right into stuff's faces. And here's the Chaos Space Marines to lend some bolt to fire. They got the cap. They haven't noted it though, they don't have the requisition to do it, and the CSM can get straight back on to that power. Meanwhile, heavily depleted heretics on capping duty as well, and the other heretics harassing by funny guy's power with aspiring champion, but they couldn't quite get it done, now the scouts will repair it, the node that is, and another gen comes in. Surely some devastators or something. All the upgrades for initial mink up so far on these units. No fourth unit. I funny guy got flamer. I'm not sure where the rest of the power went. I guess they haven't spent any other power. Double repairs on the node. This wall has been broken. That's a heavy crush wall. I think we saw it get broken from like a special attack knocking stuff into it. Heretics reinforcing back at base in the Northwest corner, the Chaos Lord is chasing the Apothecary around. 
Also, there's tons of detail in this map. It's pretty cool. Makes me think it was... Is this from the original campaign? Or maybe it was meant to be a campaign mission or something? Because there were a lot of maps... Some maps that they didn't put this much detail in, like Quest Heresy. I always thought that was a bad looking map. It plays pretty well though, so I guess that's the main thing. 448 to 380. Double tap for initial mink. Chaos Lord keeping pressure up on the Marines here. We are trying to get a VP. Might drop a model though, especially with heretics coming in. Chaos Lord gets killed a week, knocks them off the cap just in time. Pother carry now with the Sanguine Chainsword heal on hit, including his ranged hits. So it really helps him brawl and stay in play. Goes after the heretics here. What's the damage of this thing again? Almost 39 melee DPS, which is not bad at all, really. Tax flee. They dropped a model. I don't know if it was worth getting a decap to drop a model there, because it's not like you're going to keep this. It's not like the apothecary can do it. Oh, maybe. Does have that sanguine chainsaw, and he has his own heal. I don't know if it has been used already. Chases off the heretics. Chaos Lord does not turn around in cap. He's off. He's off to the wreck point, I guess. Scouts are talking a lot on this side. So what are they up to? Got their piddly little bolters shooting at heretics. These guys have a sergeant, though, as well. And the flamer came in. So they might just make a beeline straight for the power with that flamer now. CSM milling around the southeast, trying to get a decap on this VP. Might put them in position to shoot as well. Maybe. No. They're not shooting. Grenade is dodged. It's because this wall here must be a shot blocker technically this retaining wall just something you need to watch out for when you are making maps because generally you want to be able to shoot over a retaining wall although or a support wall that might be what was happening there it might have just been they weren't quite facing the right direction though tier two for i funny guy initial mink floating like crazy here there we go there wasn't too much of a float on power they floated a bunch of wreck. Could have got some more CSM up, maybe? Maybe? Or Havocs or something? Sergeant comes in for these scouts now. 412 to 372. Chaos Lord is fighting the Apothecary with his dark halo up. Apothecary is doing well. Just straight up tanking the Chaos Lord pretty easily here. Look at that. All he needs is a Sanguine Chainsword, and he beats down the Chaos Lord. He's level 2. That's awesome. You go there, Brother Carry fella. CSM dropped a model, looks like. But do get reinforced. Chaos Lord has a run away from the Carry. He's never going to live this down. Did he go through his shield as well? That's crazy. Didn't lose any hit points. Where's the heal on this thing? 25 health. Yeah, because he's only got a 26 DPS uh, power sword, this guy. So it's pretty evened out there. And I think the chainsword hits quicker, so it's going to help on all those hits. Blood letters on the way for initial mink. And a librarian up for I Funny Guy. Here he is, using his quickening to get into the field quickly. Doesn't last very long, but also gives him some damage resist when he's using it. Gonna throw a smite maybe on those heretics there. Tap to Marines, get their sergeant. They can now get into melee, pop their crack and bolts, and mess up some CSM. Because a sergeant fella knows how to fight. He's got a chainsaw, bolt pistol, fancy standard on his back. But heretics are in here now. Oh, they use Gates of Infinity to get them away. Don't think I've ever seen Gate of Infinity to save. Marines from heretics before. There's some fire. Doom Blast was a bit early. They did get the suppression off it, but I think it only hit the lead model to get the sergeant down. That was pretty nice for them. But that's a 25 power purchase. Here are your blood letters. We've got some yellow ones here for initial mink. Demons with ooh, 
with power melee weapons, lots of DPS, just ate a grenade. Now they've phased out. They can also teleport. When they're in this phased out state, they can't be knocked over or damaged. They can't cap either. We've got some Plague Marines up for initial mink. Durable infantry with a missile launcher. And damage over time, Plague Bolters. Chaos Lords had enough of this apothecary. Got some lightning claws up. 100 DPS. Power melee. Could also get the Harness of Rage to help power the shield with energy on hit. Good grenade. Chaos Lord goes straight for the apothecary. And look at that damage. Even with the Sanguine Chainsaw healing, it's not going to be enough against that. But there's. Couldn't quite get back in time to do some chopping. But they've done well on the flanks here. Funny guy. CSM getting roasted by a Kraken Bolt Flamer. And more Kraken Bolts on these. Oh, it's the same squad. I was going to say. When did they get two tax scores? They were very strangely split up there. Librarian quickenings away. And goes for a four staff. He's put Veil of Time on himself, that's why it's lasting so long. Gets all the way to the mid with it. Oh, but doesn't cap. What's he up to? Oh, there he goes. Gate of Infinity to get a power bash and then caps the VP. Nicely done. They might get a full bash here. Level 2 with that Flamer. Speaking of bashes, though, Node is down and Chaos Lord is now fighting an Apothecary. Double Scouts helping out and he runs. The shield was down. Harness of Rage on the way, though. That will be a big help. Attacks level to three. Just means they're going to bash faster. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. With, with how heavily they nerfed the Plague Champion's Biosphere for power bashing. And then you look at what flame attacks can do. I don't know if... I don't, I don't, I don't think that was a justified nerf on the old Biosphere with how much it was nerfed. Especially, They also did it to... Purgation Incinerators, they seem to bash really slowly now as well. Compared to Flame Attacks and Noise Marines. Chaos Lord gets knocked over by the Force Barrier, he's not happy about this. Now taking ranged attacks. 35 piercing ranged on this thing. It's like Tech Marine damage. Inspiration on kill. Harness of Rage. Returns energy in an AoE, not just to the Chaos Lord. One of the rare non-selfish war gears for Chaos. Well, for the Chaos Lord. 367 to 271. Goes after Librarian. It's shield up. You see the energy being returned by the Harness of Rage. But that's a lot of stuff to take on. But the carry Librarian, Scouts, and leveled up Tactical Marines. But it should be a big threat here. Mark of Zinch, Chaos Space Marines up for initial mink. Really puzzled by the Plague Marine purchase. I feel like double blood letters would have done a hell of a lot of work here. Or just some Havocs or something. One of the heretics did die. Are we getting a, a Shrine to Corn up on the VP? Isn't that delightful? Chaos Lord coming back towards the mid, I guess. Funny guy capping up. CSM kind of isolating themselves here a bit. Plant their feet and shoot. Scouts again being super aggro going into melee for some reason. There's an apothecary and a librarian to do that, fellas. They should have just backed off, I think. And left the apothecary and librarian to get into melee. Because that four staff is painful, isn't it? 70, yeah, 71.43 power melee DPS. Librarian. Now in with Bloodletters, and they'll do a lot of damage to the Librarian. There's some Marco Zinch CSM support as well. Bloodletters drop a model, good special for an Apothecary. Need to phase out, guys. Oh, they're going to retreat. Think they'll be alright? Yeah, they're alright. They're, they're far enough away to be alright. What's not alright is the CSM in with the Apothecary. Apothecary has been pretty badass with that Sanguine Chainsaw, to be honest. Improved the medical equipment and now armor of purity for a faster cooldown on the heal. Blood sacrifice, blood letters coming in. Do they have the DPS to tear down the apothecary? They should do. Heretics are also worshipping. 
and dropping models while they do so. Chaos Lord almost killed those scouts. 3-5-2 to 2-2-3 on the VPs. There's Gate of Infinity to get the Apothecary back to safety. Where was that exactly? Back towards his own base. Plague Marines are shooting something. Oh, the power right here. They're a decent bashing unit. That burst damage off the rocket launcher. Chaos Lord now on the tacks. And Marco Zeep CSM on them too. You can't keep going that way, fellas. That is Angels of Death Global popped by the Apothecary. Good smite. Angels of Death gives all of his infantry 50% damage resist and a weapon knockback immunity. Helped out those attacks there. And here comes a drop pod. Is it the reinforcement drop pod or is it actually more marines? It is more marines. They can reinforce off it, but they don't get the instant reinforcement when it lands like the other drop pod, which doesn't have tactical marines inside. There's Veil of Time to get them into melee. They bashed all the gens though, those plague marines. Some decent work. Initial mink now with noise marines on the way, and that could be a really good shout. Scouts don't like noise marines. They'll also shut down the ranged weapons of the tax, but I feel like double blood letters were still the way to go. Especially when you can get the Chaos Lord in there and these guys in and the heretics and then pop bloodlust on the big team fight maybe. Librarian tearing through the CSM, you might kill him. Oh no, gets a special. That's not when they wanted a special attack. Grenades, a bit early on the grenades, but a nice idea. Heretics doom blast while they're capping apparently. That is a pretty pointless Doom Blast. You see a lot of players just too, again, just too trigger happy with their Doom Blasts. You're losing a model for it, you got to remember that. 352 to 199. Where are the Noise Marines? Oh, they got a Blast Master. Oh, Librarian getting got a bit. It's alright. Get to heal from the Apothecary now. Probably carries almost level 5. His heal does get better as he levels up, which is cool for him. No aspiring champion on the CSM anymore, but they are level 3. So they're going to want to get him. Uh-oh. They took a garrison with two grenade scouts around. Not to mention flame attacks are potentially showing up. Good Blastmaster hit. They're waiting for the grenades to come off cooldown, I assume. That's why they're not throwing them. But they're getting messed up while they do it. Here comes another drop pod. That was the reinforced drop pod, but it was too late to save those scouts. It did reinforce these fellas though. So kind of a waste of the drop pod there, I think. Grenade does go in eventually. So I was so excited to get those grenades in that he just ran up to it. Could have just hung, hung back while the grenades came off cooldown. Here comes Flamer. Flamers are very good against garrison units. Brother Kerry, look at the Brother Kerry holding the line up there. With that chainsaw. 306 to 199. 2 to 1 for initial mink. And they show no no fear. Popped by the tactical marines. Gives them damage resist. Suppression immunity. Or does it just break suppression when they pop it? I think that's it. It does slow them down. Also allows them to knock down units in melee, which is pretty fun. They got away with it. Chaos Lord level 3. He's he's like becoming more dangerous. And Funny Guy doesn't seem super interested in getting more units on the field. Oh, they did drop some tax though. Completely missed that. I'm sure it was right on the screen. A dead marine there. Don't know where there's a bunch of them. Were they off trying to cap something and died or something? Not sure. Maybe over here? I need these I only see dead CSM. It's a dead sergeant there. Oh maybe it was here. Bunch of dead marines here. Oh yeah, he, he used Veil of Time to get them up to the plague marines. And then I don't know what happened to him. I lost interest in them fighting the plague marines and they died. Look at the map. It's very red right now. Very, very red. Very cornate red. Funny guy with an uphill struggle. Goes for Purification Rites. It's a strange thing to be spending your resources on right now, I think. 
when you need bodies on the field very badly. Good smite. Gets in there. Oh, and then gets destructive striked in the arse. 30 piercing damage, but I think it's 30 damage like multiple times, kind of like how Merciless Strike works for Assault Squad. Librarian does get away. Angels of Death is up again. Scout's being sneaky, looking for a sneaky grenade maybe. Initial Mink did get a decap. He's trying to look for the scouts over here. Behold, Wants something to murder. Scouts are off. They're stalking these CSM. They need to be careful they don't... They've got plenty of energy to throw their grenades still. They're level 3. They're waiting for these guys to like cap or something I think. Oh there's a shotgun boss. There we go. Oh there he gets in. Oh Purification right heals himself. Gets a kill. And here comes a Dreadmorn for funny guy. Could make a big difference here. They do have Plague Marines up though to shoot it. Some friendly fire from the Blastmaster. 201199 one, 1 to 1 cat. I funny guys starting to take bits of the map back, you know. I thought they were going to be just bullied out of the game at that point. Snuffed out. Trapped in. But they're not. They've got to the mid. Don't have any power to their name though. They're going to cap this one. Yep, they just capped it. Back to the mid though. Plague Marines can't take all of this stuff on. Exploding on death. Bloodlet is teleporting in. Looking to chop up some scouts. Doing huge amounts of damage. Some friendly fire coming in. Nice place to have your Blastmaster though, eh? Special attack from the Librarian doing some good work. I wonder how much damage that special attack does. Hard to find in I wish the info was on the weapons tooltip. Like how much damage does the special attack do? Because that carries down and level seven. Tried to gate of infinity him to safety, but he just gate of infinity the corpse over. The twitching corpse. I guess they're technically alive still. The unconscious apothecary. Then he just Laraman's blessing, I think, yeah, to revive. He needs to heal himself though, maybe. 174 to 194. Librarian has been pretty awesome. Oh, he gave infinity and then he healed the librarian there. Two to one for funny guy. Here comes another dreadnought. Where's the first one? Oh, he's standing here. Looking after this VP. Chaos Lord can't can't mess with this thing. Tax here to shoot him as well. And these are the leveled up tax. Whoa! He got tossed into a very... Is he stuck? Oh, okay. Just Dawn of War 2 things. I guess there's pathing in that area for some reason. Yep, Chaos Lord has to run back to the mid. Librarian kicking ass again. Killing some Plague Marines. Oh, well, a Plague Marine. And a Potter Carry has been amazing too, level 7. 174 to 168. It was more Plague Marines for Initial Mink to help fight the Dreadnoughts, I guess. Speaking of Dreadnoughts, here's the second one. Start off as a melee unit for Space Marines with a wrist mounted flamer. Plague Marines getting shots. This Dreadnought seems to be idle, just taking hits. But you can see how many times you'd need to shoot it with those Plague Marines to get a kill. They're doubling up now, though. And it's still idle. Funny guy is focusing on this. This guy should just go ranged stance and burn the blast muscle. But they're out of the garrison now anyway. Apothecary heals himself just in time. That was a big level 8 heal there. With the knockback. Meanwhile, they are going to get a dreadnought. They completely forgot about this dreadnought in the north. Big misplay from funny guy. They were busy fighting over here. They have two VPs though. And they still have a Dreadnought alive with some XP. Bloodlet is chasing down the Librarian out of the... Oh, there's two Shrines now. Are they going to try and take the Shrines down? I guess the Dreadnought can. 
Here come Plague Marines, Blastmaster, more Plague Marines to put pressure on this guy. Might be able to get it down. It's a, it's a long way from the safety of base. And those guys are blob capping rather than trying to tie them up. It's been weird. Funny guys like blob capped a few times. Completely forgot about that Dreadnought, but they've also done some really cool plays with the Librarian and stuff. Dreadnought goes down. And they've used the Apothecary really well. But there's been some slips. These tacks are still licking after this VP here, while Bloodletters cap the mid. I love the idea of demons of corn actually bothering to capture a point. Instead of just trying to make it bleed. Meanwhile, these shrines are doing great work. Angels of Death up again. Big heal for the Librarian. There's the Force Barrier to get them off the cap, and it works. Librarian's up to 1400 hit points at level 4. Are they in too deep here, though? A lot of blood letters. Librarian goes down. I don't know why Funny Guy was so desperate to cap this VP. They've still got a VP lead. They got the two to one there, but they didn't need to throw everything into this cap. Here comes a dreadnought, which might be thrown into death here because there's double plague marines and blood letters. Plague marines having to get very close to shoot though. Because of that awkward corner. And it's a really good Emperor's Fist. What's this on the mid? Oh, Scouts trying to grab it. Blood letters are there, though. Plague Marine's creating some space. Can now turn and shoot. I think they're going to lose another Dreadnought here, funny guy. Need to keep them split up. Move one, shoot with the other. I'm trying to just move them both. Just waiting for the reloads. There we go. Dreadnought's down. Still a single cap for Funny Guy. He's got a single unit on the field as well. Yeah, I thought had enough of these fellas shooting him. Should have just got the cap, probably. Has the one to one. They're yeah, out for blood. They're fighting him. Funny Guy might have just kind of given up at this point. Kills the sergeant. Kills the weak. I wonder how much damage kill the weak does. Does it scale off the weapon you've got, or is it just a flat amount? I assume it's just a flat amount. That maybe gets better as you level. He's going to wipe these guys. There he goes. Levels up to five. Double cap for initial mink. And that's going to be GG indeed. Awesome fight, though. Really like the Apothecary and Librarian play. Just kind of lost the plot a bit at the end. Getting out three dreadnoughts and basically marching them into Plague Marines there. Which was a bit odd. But looks like they are not going to concede. They are getting another dreadnought, actually. And why not? Not gonna, I don't know if he's going to have time to get onto the field, though. Born Worship for the plus two speed. We didn't see a huge amount of it. Did see a lot of heretic doom blasting though. Here's the level 9 Apothecary repurchased. There's the GG. From Initial Mink anyway. Funny guy's not giving up. Initial Mink goes tier 3. Maybe gonna try and drop a nuke or something at the end. But they're full on pop. The shrines do cost 5 pop each I think. The blood letters don't know when they pop out I'm pretty sure. Dreadnought number four, I think. This chapter's not going to have any Dreadnoughts left after this. Now he's just casually capping his power back as he's losing. Very odd game at the end from Funny Guy. I assume they haven't dropped because then Initial Mink would have been talking to nobody. And they've got some scouts out. This doesn't seem like AI play from to me. Triple Cap is going to win it though. Or Initial Mink. There's some malignant blindness, so they can't see where they're going. Still decapping stuff. There's the game. A Triple Cap at the end. 
some fun plays. Not sure if we were watching AI right at the end there. Because the apothecary even tried to cap this. Which was very strange. But it was fun. Chaos Lord was a beast at the end. Apothecary was a beast throughout with that sanguine chainsaw. It did some real work. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I just wanted to cast this because it was on Legis High Stratum. And I'll see you next time.